For the following polynomial, two zeros are given, find the remaining zeros. We're given the polynomial function x to the fourth plus 55x squared minus 576. We're also given two zeros of negative 3 and positive 3. And we're asked to find the remaining zeros. First, we'll take the zeros and we'll write them as linear factors. So we'll take the zero, which is negative 3. We'll write that as a linear factor. And the linear factor equivalent for the zero minus 3 would be x plus 3. And how this linear factor is derived, if we take the linear factor x plus 3, and if we set it equal to 0, we would subtract 3 from both sides, we would get a 0 of negative 3. Next, we'll take the 0 positive 3. We'll write it as a linear factor, which would give us x minus 3. And here again, if you take the linear factor x minus 3, and if you were to set that equal to 0 and solve for x, you would add 3 to both sides, you would get a 0 of 3. Next, we'll divide the polynomials. So we'll simply take the two linear factors, x minus 3 and x plus 3. When we multiply these two zeros or linear factors together, we get x squared minus 9. This x squared minus 9 would serve as our divisor. And we're going to use the given function x to the 4 plus 55 x squared minus 576 as our dividend. So I'm going to write that out as x squared plus 0x minus 9. And our dividend is x to the 4th. And you want to keep in mind if you're missing any degree terms, you must replace them with zeros plus 0x cubed plus 55x squared plus 0x minus 576. So now we'll divide. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth plus 0x cubed minus 9x squared. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll change the sign. So x to the 4 becomes negative. 0x cubed becomes negative, And negative 9x squared now becomes positive. So x to the 4 cancels. 0x cubed cancels. 55x squared plus 9x squared is 64x squared. I'll bring down my plus 0x. I will also bring down negative 576. So now we'll multiply by 64. And we'll distribute. So 64 times x squared is 64x squared plus 0x minus 576. This becomes negative, this becomes negative, and 576 becomes positive, which gives us a remainder of 0. Next, we'll set the quotient equal to 0, and we'll solve it. So we're going to take the quotient x squared plus 64. We're going to set that equal to 0. And now we'll solve it. So I'll use the square root method to solve. So I'll subtract 64 from both sides. I'll take the square root of both sides. And 
So x is equal to plus 8i and negative 8i. So if we go back to our question, I'll simply put in 8i comma negative 8i. 